the janitor's closet studio in the basement of DeVry University is the Janitor Dwight Podcast. Uh, yeah, looking for Vince. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Vince, what's going on, man? You had the uh, truck stolen, right? The 250? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. And you you said, like, everything that you had was gone. What happened with the cops? Why did they come up there anyway? The co- Who is this? Oh, my name's Dwight. Dwight? Yeah. Okay. Well, the cops, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I was, but since I was hospitalized and I got out, you know, being in Florida, they won't take a police report. And obviously there's no report there. Right. When you go all and try to, you know, from when they came to the pilot station, mm-hmm. they don't even have a report of that. Oh, they don't even have a so report of when they, they showed up. Pretty huh? much, no. They have nothing from when they showed up to. I, you know, at first, I'm kind of skeptical, obviously, about yeah. talking about this. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody I talk to is just kind of turned off or whatever. Oh, or, no, uh-huh. yeah. no uh, the reason the reason I was calling uh, about the truck is uh, I'm actually the one that took it. And I wanted to know if you could take down your ad. Because I'm getting a lot of questions from different people, and they showed me this ad. Um, Okay. So I I just want to let you know that it's it's not stolen. I took it. Okay. So I I just need you to take... company? Oh, no, no. I'm a... I I guess what you would... You would call me a professional thief. And so I, I took the truck. And so people are just, they're giving me a lot of static. They keep telling me, they're like, I know well, you didn't buy they... this because I didn't have any money. And so they're asking a lot how of would questions. You, how would you fucking know? How would they know that you took it? Well, because I don't have enough money. I barely scrape by. I rent this living room space. I basically rent a couch from a lady. So you're really 50 calling bucks the a week. fuck with me. No. I took it, and you I need you to take to the take head my... down. And what, how's that going to benefit you? Because then the questions go away. Oh, okay. And then I mean, what I, do I obviously do? the cops don't believe you anyway. Right. Well, so, they will. How are they? That's the point. No, no they're, they're not going to believe you. So you're really just calling the fuck with me. Because no, I am telling you. Listen, I have morals. If you can, if you want to send a picture, I may believe you. Why do I need you to believe me? But, I'm just saying that well, I have it, and if you were to do the honorable thing, you just take the ad down. The honorable thing? The honorable thing would be to fucking leave people's shit alone, but... It sat there for days on end. Obviously, it was obviously abandoned. Oh, was it? Abandoned? Yeah. I even asked the guy inside. Okay. I think his name was Mike. I so said, then how much, how much would you want, how much since you scraped by, how much would you want? For me to get my truck back from you? Oh no, no, I'm not offering to give it back. Because uh, I don't oh, have to. Work, I don't have to walk. To sell it either. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not trying to sell it either. It allows me not right. to have oh, to walk so you to just work want anymore. To look at it. No, I drive it. Oh. So I don't have to walk. To oh, work. okay. Right. Because it's, okay. it's it's rough. Because work's about uh, five and a half, six miles each way, and this has really oh, been geez. a relief on my feet. That's a big. Right, I bet. So. I'm just, you, I'm just, I'm just you asking. You getting the boner off of fucking with people? No, I'm just asking. Hey, I'm just, just asking for you fucking, to take it off. Fucking French fucking retard, probably. A what? It's, it, it doesn't matter because it's going to happen, first of all. What's going to happen? The, I'm, if Even if I don't get the truck back physically, I'm more fucking into actually worrying about the rights that were violated so and and people are bothering you about it yeah uh, they're bothering me they want to know where i got it from uh, and how okay. i afford to pay for it 
Right. How how do you afford to pay for it? It's a fucking retard. No, I don't have any no, mental no incapacities. White. What is that supposed to mean? Right. And then you don't even have enough balls to fucking get a hit star 67 before you fucking go. Yeah, so because stupid. I would give you my number. I stole your mm-hmm. stuff, okay. and I would give you my number. So that makes a lot of sense. That let me do the honorable thing and ask somebody to fucking do something to fucking be fucked over anymore. Just, just right? do the honorable, honorable thing, man. Just take it down. Okay. All right. I don't need any more questions. I've answered okay. enough. I've had a hard life. Right. Yeah. So then what else have you had? What else? I mean, obviously you got on a little extra stuff then. I got on a little extra stuff. Yeah. I mean, you must have benefited from more than just the truck from what was in it. Mm -hmm. Right? No, I haven't even looked entirely through the thing. Oh, you haven't looked inside it. it no, was I said I haven't looked shit. entirely through it. Your fucking fat ass probably couldn't even fit hey, in it. Hey, motherfucker, you don't talk to me like this. I talk to you fucking fucking fat ass. Tell me what I want. You called me to fuck with me, motherfucker. What's with all the homophobic slurs that you're spitting out there? <laughs> you fucking fucking, fucking conservative. Hello? Hello? Is that Fidel? Yeah, of course. Hey, Fidel. Yeah. You looking for my girl, Jessica? Yes. Okay. Look. What happened? Well, I've been I put her into hiding because the cops have been chasing her lately. And is it because of your car? The car that she took? Yeah. The SUV, what is that, silver? Yeah, she stole my car, but uh, I found her and uh, I take her again. You're going to try to find her? Yeah, I found her. I, I called uh, the detective. Yeah. Yeah, I, he, he said no. Yeah, I found the car. You found the car? Yes. But oh. she, she don't give me the keys. Oh, you got the I car with no, to... but no keys. you still trying to find her no. then? Yeah, I, I I saw her yesterday. The night I saw, hey, give me the key. She don't want it. What'd she say? Yes, she got a key when uh, her, her friend. Yeah. She tells yeah, me. All, she car, tells, I, she I, tells me all the time. She says that you're a drunk pervert, and she stole your car to get away from you because you tried to grab her boobs. Uh, me? Yeah, that's what Jessica told me. Yeah. She what? said she said you tried to grab her by the pussy, and she had to get away, so she stole your SUV. No, no, no. I we, we went to buy a pizza, and and when I I I go out with, with the pizza, no car, no she. Oh, with the pizza. And I tried. Yeah, and I was I was trying two weeks. Hey, give me a car, give me a car, and, and I I make a report with the police. Yeah. And, and she she don't want it, and I know where she go in Motel Six. Yeah, I pay a I, I pay a one lady to found for me, and she she told me hey she's in motel six. And I, I have another key, and I went I I take the car. You know what she did? You know what she did in your SUV? She did b- very bad things in your SUV. No, I didn't see. She made she made she made the fuck. She made the sex in your SUV. Oh yeah. Yeah. With many, with many men, and then there was intravenous drug use. She was doing drugs and having the fuck in your car, in the SUV. Oh, it's for that she found my car. Did you find? Did you find drugs or needles in the car? No, I, uh, yes, uh, too many clothes for for her. Yeah, cause she did. There's big stains, big stains. She had three BBCs in there, and they just unloaded. Oh, you know what, you know BBC, right? You know what BBC? No, I oh, it's big I black cocks, big, that, big black cocks, all in there, and they exploded oh, yeah? the the yeah they exploded the the juice, the semen juice, the baby maker juice, all over her, and it's all over the inside of the SUV. Oh no, I don't know that time. You know what else she uh, do? What? She drive for Lyft. 
She drove for Lyft and Uber, and she ran up miles. Big miles on your SUV. Oh, man, no, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what she did. You know the worst thing that she did? No. She farted. She farted in there a lot. Oh, man. She's you know, still lying all the, all the time. And then. Yeah, she ate, she ate Taco Bell. And then she rolled up all the windows in the SUV and she farted and she gassed it and now it smells. Oh, uh, uh, can you ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, is, is you a uh, police? Am I what? You, you are a police? Oh, no, I run no. My, I, I'm a private detective. Oh, I was your detective. Oh, yeah. is it, uh, my, my, name is, my name is Richard Dick. Oh, oh, but I'm not you who was looking for my car, no? Yeah, I was hired to look to try to steal the car back for Jessica. She says that that car is her and she has the keys. So I need the car back. Oh, the car is mine. Oh, Jessica has the keys. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah she's stolen the keys too, but I have another key. Yeah, well, she sold the car to me. And you took it. You? No, 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 no. That's my no. car. That's my car. What? That's my car. You have. No. Uh, what? What kind of car are you talking about? It's a silver SUV. Did you bring Mercury? Yeah. No. It's I silver. got a paper. My my friend she he, he sell me the car. My friend he working with me. It's silver, it's silver the, right? It's, silver, right? It's SUV. Yeah, it's silver, it's correct? Color. No, no. Uh, yeah, silver. Yeah, that's mine. It's yeah. mine. It's mine. Bring me my car. No, no, no. No, no, no. Bring wait. me my car. The car, uh, hey, listen to me. The car is still in the name Dulce. Bring me my car, puta. My... Cavron. Cavron, son of a bitch, you. No, 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 no. You, if you go in touch with the lady she's, and her name, it's okay. I, I not, not change in, in my name, too. How do you get it's this in your name? name like How do you get it in your name? You tell. You Come on. No, not yet. Come on. Not yet. Come on, you tell. No, not yet. I changed because I, I have to pay only 1000 on my friend. You got to pay 1000 You got to pay 2000 to me. 2000 to me now. What? No oh, man, you're give, wrong. Give me my car. Okay, let's talk later. I'm not I'm working. Where do you work? I, Where do you work? Hours. I'm coming to work. Where do you work? I work in a, in a dairy. You work a what? In a dairy, milking cows. You milk cows by hand or with machine? No, by machine. Machine? I want yeah, you. I want you to yell as loud as you can, Carlito is a machine. Okay. Hey, hey, so, let's talk. Let's no, talk. no, no, listen to me, listen. You yell, Carlito is a machine, and I will give you the car for free. Fidel. Fidel. Uh, hello? Yeah, yell, hey. yell, Carlito is a machine, and I'll give you the car for free. What? Yo, oh, yo, oh. Carlito is a machine. Okay. Yell it. La, la carne? Say, Carlito is a machine. Uh-huh. Say it. Carlito is a machine? Yeah, but say it, say it like you mean it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Carlito is a oh. machine. Carlito is a machine. Hey, say it. Come on. Say Carlito is uh, a machine. Carlito is a machine? That's right, but don't say it like a question. Say it like you mean it. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> say Carlito is a machine. Oh. Uh. uh I, 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 you, do you not speak Spanish? Do I speak Spanish? No. No. Say, say it uh, again. Say Carlito is a machine. 
Yeah, Car- Carrito is the machine. <laughs> yes, now you say PLA go away. Uh, P- P- PLA go away? Yeah, PLA go away. PLA go away? Yeah, now hang up the fucking phone. Oh, okay. How may I help you? Hey, hello? Uh, you have uh, uh, a job for me? You uh, you have job? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you say. Uh, you have uh, uh, a job for me? A job? A job? Uh, yes, yes, a job. You can come and fill application. Uh, what uh, what is open? What uh, what position? What position right now? What uh, position? Well, yeah. Right now we got this washer position. I see uh, with a machine or by hand. By hand. Is uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, soap? You soap? Yes, yeah, we use soap. Soap bleach. Uh, gloves? What well, gloves? Yeah, you can come and fill application. Do you have gloves? Yes. Okay, okay, gloves. Do uh, ap- apron? Do you have ap- apron? I'm sorry, you can, you can come and fill application if you want to work. Do I get apron? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you say. The uh, uh, pussy? Bye. P- pussy? Hi, how are you? Did you have a Civic stolen from you? Yes. Oh, great, great, great. I think I saw it. Uh, where exactly? Uh, I'm over here. I'm in Modesto. Uh huh. Uh, it, it was. It's white, right? Yeah, it's a it's a four door. Uh, it has black trimming. Um, the the front passenger door. Uh, is actually like a little off white because uh, it was replaced by the As a last replacement. Owner. Yeah, I, I think I yeah. wrote the plate down. I think it was three uh, three G or C. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. Where exactly? Yeah. Uh, do you know where the Taco Bell is in Modesto? Like right over. Um, uh, which one? Like uh, like right over by McHenry. Are you serious? Yeah. Um. Was it? Do you? Did you? Um, did you get a look at the, at the person or? At the person driving? Uh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a woman. Oh, wow. Is it still there or? Uh, it's there now. I, I only see one person in the lobby and it, it's, uh-huh. a, it, it's a woman. And so oh. I, I don't know. They might not be there much longer. I would, I would assume. Right. I, don't, I don't know if they're eating in or if they're getting it to go. Right. Uh, so you said this is a talk about on McHenry? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Um, what was your name? Oh, my name is Hank. Hank? Yes. My friends call me Hank. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, oh, oh there was you. one other thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-huh. Actually, I'm the one that stole it, and I wanted to ask you to take the ad down. I'm sorry? I'm the one that stole it, and I want you to take the ad down. No, I'm not going to take it down. Because I'm tired of people asking me where I got the car. Well, you stole it, and it's mine. Yeah, well, I stole it. There's no D on the end of stole. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we'll take the ad down. I don't need all this heat. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Why wouldn't you take the ad down? Because you took my fucking car. What the fuck do you mean? Well, I, want, I need it taken down. I got my brother well, over here telling me, my brother's telling me care. that he saw this ad, I don't care. and he's telling I don't me to care. get it taken care of before my care. mother sees it. I don't care. I hope you fucking go to hell, bitch. Why the hell would you wish me to go to hell? Hello? David. Yes. Hey, are you, are you awake or are you drunk? I'm either. You I'm need- just lying on, on my bed. Okay, all right. You had the guitar problem, right? Yeah. 
Is this Dad? Did you get a replacement? No. Uh, someone stole my guitar. I have an electric, but I need an acoustic really badly. Yeah. And someone stole mine, and that's okay. They must have needed it more badly than I did. Yeah, well, I stole it. I'm just seeing if you got a replacement because I need to get some more meth. Some more what? Meth. I need to steal another guitar to get more meth. Guitars sell well and they can't be tracked very well. That's very funny. What? You're very funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm looking for a revenue source. And usually... I don't know I stay with one until it's tapped out. So what? Did you get a replacement or no? You say you got an electric one? I've got an electric and I need an acoustic. How much is that electric one worth? I paid 59 bucks for it. 59 How much could I resell it to like a pawn shop? You resell for a piece of junk. That's all you can do. You call me what? I didn't call you shit. Hey, you don't I curse. Shit. I'm a Christian. Lord, thank you for serving Jesus Christ. I gotta go back to sleep. Hi, Angel Bellis. How can I help you? Hi. I drive for Uber Eats, and I just came mm-hmm. in and picked up an order. Mm-hmm. And I found a rat, a big rat, inside of the bag. Oh, I was checking a rat? The, yeah, I was checking the order for the customer uh, before I take him the food. Because I have a top notch. I'm five star rated. And when I checked everything, oh. like all the food was there. But there, I don't know, it might not be a rat. This might be a mouse. I don't know how to tell them apart. But there's a rodent in here. Oh, um, just give me one second. Let me talk to the manager real quick. Okay, is it a man or a woman? Uh, uh, it's a man. Okay, things will happen then. Go yeah. ahead and ask him. Hey, okay, thank you. Okay, I'll be right here. All right. Hi. Uh, yeah, I just talked with the manager and he said that we have no idea how that happened, but we can just uh, make the whole order again. The whole order again? Because I didn't yeah. see this on here. I didn't know if the person that I'm driving for, if they ordered uh, mice or something. I didn't know if that's something you made. Yeah. Um, it's, like, really weird to happen that because I checked the order. And we, we, like, we are 100% uh, like safe. Uh, we apply, like, every safety measures to keep it clean and all. Uh-huh. And I, uh, like, we, we pack it by ourselves. So. Oh, I see. It's, like... Okay, do I need to read off what the order was? Uh, yes, please. If you could um, like bring that bag, we'll just throw it away, and we will be making uh, the order ready for you. Okay, do, like you, know, do, you, know what, do you know what the order is, or should I read it to you so it's ready when I get there? Because uh, I'm supposed to be there yeah, in, fi- um, in 15 minutes, and it's going to take me like five to get back to you, and so sure, I'm really um, going to have to yeah. speed. Yeah, may I have the name of the order? I can just see, uh, like check it here. Yes, the first name uh, is Mader, M A D E R. Mhm. Last name is Chod. Uh, is it your name or the customer's name? Customer's name. Okay. Their name is Mara Chod. Excuse me, we don't have that order here. Okay, well, that's what it says on the receipt here uh, that I'm, I'm supposed to drop off to Marachod on 115 Sesame Street. Oh, there they went. Let's try them back. Hello? Hello, sir. I was just talking to the young lady I'm, about the order. I'm the Uber Eats guy. So, sir, talk to Uber Eats, non call to restaurant. If what, you no, have no, any your problem, order, the order for the customer was wrong. I'm just saying it, it's got to be rectified before What's I take wrong? the food to. There is a mouse in the bag. It it can't be. It, it is not a possible, sir. Well, I, I know it shouldn't be possible. Sir, if you have any problem like that, you can call to Uber Eats. Listen, Marachod, Marachod, you don't talk to me like this. 
You, I can talk to with you. You don't talk to me, you Mara Chod, Ben Chod, son of a bitch. Oh, Yonko. Uh, it sounded like he was going to get going. It was Ron. Who'd you, what'd you say your name was? Dron? Ron? Oh, Ron, Ron. Okay, great. Uh, I need to make an appointment to get some bleaching done. Um, bleaching? Yeah. Um, sorry, we don't... Oh, wait, give me one second. Hold on. All right. Hi, sorry, but uh, we don't do any bleaching here. We only do waxing. Waxing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, waxing will get me at least halfway there. Uh, I'd like to make a reservation then. Oh, yeah. You'd like for a manzillion, right? Uh, well, I want to get uh, my, I guess, my man area. I want to get that all nice and waxed up. Uh, okay. As, as, uh, w- as well as, I want to get the genitals and the taint. Okay. Um, what day were you looking for? Um, like tomorrow? Yeah, whatever's available. Uh, okay. Because because I do I have uh, I have a date on uh, okay. on on Tuesday. It's a nice church girl. Uh, do you guys do uh, shapes by any chance? Shapes? Yeah, if you, like you can make like a pattern in the hair. Um, if you want to, you'd have to ask the esthetician about yeah. it. Well, I'm just looking to like in. maybe I, I know it would be difficult to do like the face of Jesus, but I thought maybe you could do a cross. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Um, what was your phone number so I can book you in? It's eight zero eight. One three five. One three five. One nine one one. One nine one one. And what was your first name? Uh, the first name is Dwayne. Dwayne. Okay. And last name? Cactus. C a c t u s. Okay. So I have you in with Jarrell at 4 p.m., okay? And then if you want to make or, any Is that a man, a man or a woman? Um, it's going to be with a man. Um, okay. He's the only one that does manzillions. Okay. okay. Uh, can I get a Brazilian? Is that what i got to get to have a female? Um, yeah, would, yeah, but that's only for... Okay, I'll sign up for a Brazilian yeah. then. Um, sorry, it's only... It would be under Matt Lillian, um, so they would... Well, I, no, 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 I identify as female. So I thought you were saying Brazilian at first. So okay. sign me up as Brazilian. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Is and there anything, and, who, and um, who, who, who will I be seeing then? Um, you would be seeing Alisa. Alisa, and how, mm-hmm. just a quick question: How long has she been working there, and how long has she been an esthetician? Um, she's been working here for six years now. Six years, okay. Yeah, and she's pretty experienced. Okay, no complaints or anything like that. Very gentle. Yeah. Okay. No, that that's that sounds that sounds lovely. Uh, what is your tipping system? Do you do they accept tips? I've never had this done before. Um, yes, they accept. Tips. You could either leave tip if you're going to charge in card, or if you're going to do cash, you could leave cash as well. Does Elisa fuck? Does she fuck on masturbate and jerk dicks? Does she fuck? Does she fuck on speaker phones? Does she fuck on um, finger? No. no, she doesn't. Does she fuck fingers and farts? No? Um, no. Why not? Um, Let me talk to her. her. Um, Let me talk I, to her. Get her on the phone. Get her on the phone. Come on, chop chop, I'm hurry sorry, up. But, get her on the phone. But, sorry, but she's with a client right now. I don't care, get her on the phone, I'm very important. I'm from the mainland. Hello? I, yeah, I got questions about this drone that I found. Oh yeah, yeah, what's up? What what type of warranty is on this thing? How long is it good for? I I could not tell you that, sir. Cause I flew it. I was it. I was trying to fly it for the first time, and I don't know what I'm doing. And I hit the trunk of a tree, and I, there's some damage, and it needs to be fixed. I just wanted to know what type of warranty is still left on this thing. I uh, I couldn't tell you. No. 
Okay. So, how, much, how much did you buy the drone for? Oh, I didn't buy it. I Wait, found I found it in someone's it, it, car. Wait, you Wait, wait, wait. How what where did you find it? Where where was it in the car and where was the car? Oh, it was in uh it was in the it was in the back seat. I remember I don't fucking remember. It was 4 days ago, almost 5 days ago. And was it in a backpack? Man, eh, it's this black back north what is that north face i don't ever shop there it's too expensive north wait uh what was in the backpack uh this drone and some accessories for it dj dji is that a good is that a good brand i've never owned one of these before yeah that is a good brand I tried yeah, looking up. I tried looking good. up about parts and stuff, and it's pretty expensive to get parts replaced on this thing. Well, you realize you have a stolen drone. What? You? Yeah, it was stolen out of my car. Yeah. So. Well, I know because I'm the one that took it. I just saw this ad. People, have, people have been telling me because I got that stupid North Face backpack with the goddamn AT and T logo on it. And my friends go through the goddamn Craigslist every day looking for free shit. And they came across this and they told me about it. And so now I'm going to call and tell you to respectfully take the ad down. And why is that, sir? Because if they already found it, then it's only a matter of time before my girlfriend finds it. I told her that I bought it before the, the, I'm going to start a new landscaping business and I want to take aerial shots of other people's properties and tell them that, that I did it so I can get some work. So you think it's okay that you have a stolen drone? I don't think it's okay. I think it's acceptable. Wait, so how long ago did uh, you take it? Mm. About uh, four days ago? No, it was... I tried calling you about four days ago. I was, what was that? First week of August, I took this thing. Yeah, right so around, you, right around there. First week of August, first week, week and a half. Wait, and uh, did wait? How many car? Wait, so you broke in, and how many did you break into another car? I broke into three cars, I think total, but they didn't have any good stuff like this. I mean, this if I wanted to sell it, it'd be worth a lot of money, but I think I could use it. To further my landscaping business, so I think I'm going to keep it. But I need to know: Do you have any warranty papers or anything like that that I can mail into DGI to have this repaired? Well, actually, we could we could meet up for and what? I could I could give you I could give you the paperwork, like a warranty paperwork. I don't need the manual because I looked up online. You could get the manual online. I just need no, the, there's, to... there should be a warranty card with like a little sticker across with the serial number. Well, um, yeah, I can meet up and give you that. When? Because I got to get this repaired. I don't know if the camera's broken or if it just short circuited or maybe, I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't have a big enough memory card. Let's me, I'll meet up with you. When can we meet up? Would tomorrow work? What time tomorrow? Uh, like two o'clock. Where you want to meet at Walmart? Which one? Uh, which one's closest to you? I'll come over. Cause I have a meeting tomorrow uh, with wa- my parole officer in the morning. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, I uh, do. You, you know the one on uh, Wyoming and Academy. No, nah, I'm not familiar, but I I can Google it. Yeah, do you want to go there tomorrow at two o'clock? Two o'clock, two two o'clock or four o'clock, right between there will work the best Let's for me. Let's go two o'clock. Okay, and I wanted to apologize. Like I didn't I didn't want to break your window, but I was trying to use a slim jim, and I just couldn't get it to pop and unlock. So really, I I want to apologize because that window was a bystander; it was collateral damage. Uh, wait. Uh, 
and wait, what car was it? What car did you break into? You seriously want me to remember what type of car it was over a month ago? You know how many cars I break into? Uh, how many cars do you break in? How many people do you fuck over? I don't fuck anybody over. I just, people that have uh, rich cars or you... rich looking cars, I just take what I feel entitled to. You notice I didn't steal the car. I just took what was inside. I mean, you know how many okay. you know how many makes... pills I have to take a day. What's your name? What's your name? My sir? name is Chuck. You can call me Charles because and... I call Chuck. Cause I, that's my friends call me Chuck. You can call me Charles. Okay, Chuck. Call me Charles. Um, okay, my bad, Charles. Thank and you. Uh, how do I know you have the drone? Why? Well, I... Don't know how I'd prove it to you. Well, you, what do you, you want? send me a picture. Send me a picture. Uh, do you have an email? Uh, no, I don't. I have a phone number, which you're obviously calling. Yeah, so but I don't want you have because a- if I text you from my phone, it'll show you my phone number. Well, and then the cops could come get me, and I don't. Because if I have contact with police, I have to tell my parole officer, and I'm not going to okay, go back. I'm not going to go back and do three and a half years for a stupid drone. Then how about you? Get, how about this? I will pay you nine hundred dollars for that drone back and my backpack and everything that was in it. So I get nine hundred dollars, and I can keep this. No, I get the drone back. That doesn't seem like a very good... You're not going to turn me in, are you? No. You're not You're not in with law enforcement? No. Okay. What I, what I want... What I want how I want this to go down is I want you to... I don't want cash. I want Bitcoin. You want Bitcoin? I want Bitcoin because then I can shuffle it. I can shuffle it around a little bit, and then I won't—I won't be traced. You won't be traced with cash either. Yeah, but what I'll do is I'll have you send me the Bitcoin, and then I'll—I'll I'll put the drone in a locker, and then once you once you send the Bitcoin, I will send you the location of the drone, and you can go get and, it. And uh, wait, wait, what's your, what's your email? What's my okay? You ready? Uh, one second. Let me let me get a piece of paper. Yeah, what's your email? It's Charles. Period. Cranson. It's C R A N S O N at gmail dot com. Thank you, Chuck. No, no problem. But when can I expect payment? Um, well, I'm gonna have to talk and uh, uh, talk to my banker and uh, see if I can get my Bitcoin because I have a lot of it. You have a lot of, you no do how- you do you do cryptocurrency mining? Yes, a lot of it. And uh, how how much Bitcoin do you want? How much is it worth right now? I gotta go look. I gotta look right now. It, I'm pretty sure it's up in like the seven thousand, eight thousand. I don't know. I don't do it. I have a lot of ten thousand right up. now. Um, send me like I don't know what like one uh, percent of a bitcoin. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, I can do that. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to get to get rich. Like I just, I just want to scoop by. I just want to, I want to just get enough money to pay my rent and to buy pills on the street. I'm not greedy. What kind of pills? I what like, kind of pills? I like oxys. Sometimes, Oxy? sometimes I get Xanax, and you get those two bar Ooh. Xanax. Oh, they will, they'll make you sleep. They'll fuck you up. Oh, I, I know, what you, I know what you're talking about. Let me tell you though, we need to redistribute the wealth in this country. We got to support Bernie 2020. 
Yeah, I de- dog, I feel that. Because Bernie's got the yeah. right idea. Because if we had free health care for all, free free Medicare, free, then I wouldn't have to be on the street hawking pills. I could go to the doctor without having to pay a copay. And then I could I could get my pills legally, and they would be cheaper, and they would pay for it, and then and then drones would be free for everyone too, and everybody would get a free house and a free car, and the food would be free for everyone, and when he, it would do it, it would all be free. Yeah, you just you just took the words right out of my mouth. You know what I mean? You, yeah, no, I do. Hey, so it seems like we're connecting on a pretty good level. You know? Yeah, we could, we could, we would have probably been friends in another life. As well. Yeah, no, I can tell. You know, I wish, I wish I just had money to donate to Bernie is all. Yeah. Maybe I'll donate well, hey, some of the wait. Bitcoin to Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Wait, so you said you have to pay rent? Like, where... What kind, how how many bedrooms is your apartment? I don't have an apartment. There's this girl named Crispy, and I rent a couch in her living room. But I'm only allowed to stay there overnight. At 9 o'clock, I have to vacate. And then I can only come back at about 8 at night. And her name is Crispy, like Crispy Cream? And it's like a nickname. Uh, in my paper, she made me sign a paper. It's got her full name on it. I don't know where it's at. I think it's somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But she doesn't and, uh, like me. She works to... from home, and so I can't be there during the day. So I got to leave from 9 in the morning until about 8 at night. So I just become kind of transient and walk around. And uh, do you remember where you were when you when you broke in? When I broke in? And took this drum? Hell, yeah. hell no. You know how many pills I take in a day? I can't even remember. I take at least at least 10 oxys when I have the money. And if I have more money, I'll take closer to 15. But then, like, if I get Xanax, like, because I, I can't get Xanax too, too like, like all the time because they don't have them. But if I could get a hands on a couple Xannies... I'll be sleeping most of the day, and I generally don't break into cars. Okay. Hey, okay, so how about, so we have the Bitcoin option. What if I also hooked you up in pills? What kind of pills you got? Everything you just said, Adderall, Oxy. Oh, I don't do do Adderall. Xanax, Xanax I'm I'm good with. Uh, Xanax. Hey, hey, have you tried Adderall? No. Is that well, an upper? Uh, is that an it, upper or a downer? It's it's. I believe it's an upper, and it makes you like really focused. So oh, that's to, that's what they give the little retarded boys that can't sit still. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. No, I didn't. No, I didn't need that. I was actually pretty good. I was B plus and A for most of my life when I was going to school, and I was gonna go. I was you? gonna go to the college. I'm I'm 27 years old, sir. And uh, how long have you lived in Albuquerque? Uh, I when I moved here, because my dad moved here, and when I got out of high school, so uh, like nine years. Yeah. And what uh, what high school did you go to? Oh, I used to live in New Jersey. Oh yeah. damn, that's sick. Yeah, my mom made me move because she said I was just too much of a handful. And so I had to move down to Albuquerque with my dad, and he's in the military. And so he's always moving around, and he moved again, and I refused to move again. And so that's why I'm in the situation that I am. Yeah, well. So what other pills you got, though? You got... I don't do heroin, but they have what is what is that stuff that you give people to get off of heroin? Suboxone. You got any suboxone? I I could check. I might. Suboxone is good. That's basically man-made meth, but I don't have to use needles. 
Yeah. Do you not like needles? No, I don't like needles at all. And my my friend, my friend Erica, she shoots up between her toes. She puts the needle between her toes. And I'm just, ah, that's got to hurt. And then she has scabs all over, and that makes it really unattractive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, my it's goodness. Gro- it's gross. You ever you seen a girl that shoots in her thighs, and but she, like, you, she wears a skirt? And you go have relations, and you start rubbing against scabs is gross. No, no, that has not not had to happen to me. This happened to me, and I wish it hadn't. God, these pills okay, are um, so good right now. Here, uh, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an email right now. Okay, you're gonna make an email. Yeah, I'm gonna make an email right now. Yeah. You know what? You, you know gonna... what pills I used to be down with, and when I was younger, and my parents let me have them. Fucking Flintstone what? vitamins, the chewables. Oh my god, they taste so good. They didn't get you oh, high I though. I know. <sighs> yeah, high is a kite, right? No, they don't get you high. They were supposed to make you big and strong, but they tasted so good. You were only supposed to take one a day. But I would sneak three or four, and I always had stomach problems because it was too much. It was like candies. You used to be able to, like, if you save them, you crush them up, and you could sprinkle them on Fruity Pebbles. And it was really, really oh, yeah, good. I feel, I feel. I feel that. Okay. Wait, so what did so you call? Did, what, did, yeah. what did you call about? What did I call you about? Yeah, what did you call about? What do you need? You called me. I called you. Yeah. What did I call you about? Because you were asking me for the warranty on the drone you have. Oh, I got the drone. The one that I... Yeah. That I, that I, I the one I borrowed. The one you borrowed? I, the one I borrowed. I borrowed it from a car. You borrowed it from a car? I borrowed it from a car. Well, could you return it? Return? Yeah, I can return it. It's not mine. I found it, and I need to give it. I've been trying to find the guy that it belongs to. Wait, uh, have you flown it? Have I flown it? I tried to. I couldn't get it off of the ground. But this person okay. left their car unlocked, and so I, I went to go lock the doors, and I locked it, and I accidentally knocked the drone out of the car, and so the one the, I already shut the door, so the doors were locked, and the, the the drone and the backpack, it was a nice backpack, it had AT and T logo on it, was already out of the car, so I didn't feel safe leaving it there, so I I borrowed it, I I took it for safekeeping. Okay, and and what's your location right now? I'm walking on the sidewalk right now. I'm going. I'm going to McDonald's. Which McDonald's? Where's McDonald? Hang on. Let me bring it up on my phone. I have the Google Maps, and it it tells me where to go. It gives me foot directions. And it's a nice, it's a nice program. Have you ever used? Yeah, I have. I, I, I exactly. my dad had a GPS. It was a standalone GPS, and like it was only for cars though. But this is on foot, and so it's much nicer. So, which McDonald's are you going to? Oh, I'm going. Let's see. Show directions. Show directions. Uh, scroll, scroll. You know the one on Central? Uh, Central and, like, University? Yeah, it's on Cent- Central Ave. Yeah, I know, I know that one. Yeah, it's, like, Central. What the hell is the road that's by there? Central and Yale, I think, is... The cross street, Yale Boulevard, southeast. 
is over there by the the museum, the art museum. Yeah. Uh, wait. What kind of phone do you have? I have an Android phone. Could you? Do you have the drone with you right now? Yeah, of course. I wasn't just gonna leave leave it sitting around. This thing's worth a lot of money. Could you uh, take a picture and text it to my number? Yeah, I can text you. Text text it to you to this number. Yeah, to this number you just called. Okay, hang hang on. Uh, I'm looking at my phone to make sure it's still showing. Okay. Hello? you hear me? I know this is a fucking prank. Hello? Hello? Bro? Chuck? Okay, okay, man, I'll see you at the McDonald's. Wait, yo, yo. What? Are you good? There's a crash. There's a crash out here, and I dropped my phone in the weeds, and I was trying to find it. There was a crash? This guy crashed. I was walking into the road across the street, and... They side swiped each other and a bunch of cars hit each other and I tried to dodge it and then I threw the phone and it went in the weeds and I had to try to find it. 
Wait, can you still send a picture of the drone? Yeah, I just sent a picture. My screen is cracked, but the camera should still work. Okay, send pictures. All right, I'll send a picture. Give me, like, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Okay, bye. Hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Ah, not too bad. I'd like to make an order if I could, please. We actually do not accept phone orders. If you want to try DoorDash, Uber Eats, or try our website. Yeah, well, I would I would love to, but I'm blind. And so they don't have apps on my phone in Braille that I can make a DoorDash order. And I, I, I can't, I I can't see a menu. Uh, do you have uh. butter chicken? No, we do not. Oh, no butter chicken? Do you have chicken tikka no. masala at all? No, we're, we're not an actual Indian restaurant to have those on our menu. We mostly have Mediterranean cuisine. Okay, well, because uh, when I said order, I said... I said Indian food into the the Google, and they gave me oh, okay. you. So what what do you have? What is your best selling dish? We have a combo platter which comes with lettuce, tomato, rice, and then we have beef chicken, and then we have our famous white sauce and hot sauce on it with pita bread. Do you know what's in the white sauce? It's a creamy mayonnaise base with secret spices. Okay, and and do and that does that come with the platter, the chicken or the beef platter? Yes. Okay. And how much would I have to pay um, for if I were to come in and I and I ate this off of you? Would they put this on you and I eat it off of you? It's ten eighty one for the platter. For the platter? Yes. Well, how much for the food? If the platter's ten eighty one, how much do you charge for the food? I don't want to just be paying for a dish for silverware and dishware. No, there'll be food inside the platter. There's food inside. Which one do I get, chicken or beef, for ten eighty one? You could get both. I can have both? They, so it comes with chicken yeah. and beef on the platter then? Yes. Oh, that's a good deal. So, But who feeds me? Who feeds me? Uh, you'll have to do that yourself. But I'm blind. Well, uh, we actually can't. I can't really help with that. But I'm blind you'll... and I don't know how to work a fork. They don't have. Well, they don't have braille forks. No, no, I get that, but we won't be able to help you in that situation. Yeah, but that's the situation I'm in. Is the, there's no braille forks? No, no, I get that. You're not trying to read the fork, but uh, but that's how I eat. Be- I have to know the braille. It lets me know how far down on the on the fork I am, and it also lets me know like because it actually will raise the bumps when I have food on it, and then it'll tell uh, no, me we- the food is on the fork and that I can put it in my no, mouth. We don't have that. I know you don't. I know you don't. But I need somebody to help me. I have to eat. I need nutrition. I need nourishment. No, I understand that, but we can't feed you. I know, but I don't have hands. I use my feet to read the Braille. Hello? Hello? Is that Jennifer? Who's that? Oh, uh, my name is Ryan, and you responded to my ad about the uh, free breast plant. Uh, with the new technology. Oh, okay. Did my secretary get back to you on that? No. Oh, okay. Well, I can see where you're kind of bewildered and wondering who this was. Because uh, I, 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 <laughs> have, I have a piece of paper in front of me, and it says this was the allotted time that I was supposed to call. Oh, okay. Uh, they they might have mixed it up, but uh, are, are you still interested? Um, sure. I'm sorry, could you tell me about what this is? Yeah, yeah, it was, we were offering free breast implants. Uh, we were going to be testing a new type of silicone. Uh, you you oh, responded, okay. you said that your current cup size was, uh, uh, it was a B. It doesn't look like it was filled out as to what size that you would like to become. Uh, you said you had no al- allergies, no concerns. Uh, from the procedure, uh, or anything like that. It says you were 31 years old. Right, yeah. Okay. And do, it, what cup size were you looking at becoming? I know it says right here that you were a B. Uh, probably like a full C. A full C? Okay. What, mm-hmm. what, what we're doing is, because we're trying to do a new green technology 
uh, you know, with with everything going on right now with climate change, uh, we're, we're pushing they're pushing the Green New Deal with AOC. Uh, what we have is a silicone, but we have some micro um, uh, solar panels that are inside of the silicone. They're like the, what they call like nanites. And what we're looking to do, because they would be implanted in your chest region. Let me ask you, um, do you wear um, like like tank tops or even T-shirts or anything like that? Where the tops, not not the full breast, but just the tops, would be uh, exposed to sunlight. Um, sometimes not. Not I don't have a lot of shirts like that. Maybe like two. Okay, but the the fabric itself, it's it, it it's not thick thick on on most of your clothing. Oh, okay. Because like, okay. the, the light will still go through the, the fabric of most clothing, but like sweaters, like heavy sweaters. It's, it's it just wouldn't, okay. wouldn't work, um, but is that something around what you try what you try to wear on a daily basis? Yeah, I mean, I have to wear um, you know not business attire, but casual, casual clothes to work. So that's yeah. Okay, if you could describe to me what uh, an average day of casual wear uh, looks like. Um, I, let me see. I have a few V-necks. Um, I do have some regular t-shirts that are, um, like a crew neck. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. I have some button up shirts. Um, yeah, just casual. Okay. All right. Great. Um, now you're, you're, you're totally open to this because what we're trying to do, uh, once it's once it's injected, they won't be activated for approximately two weeks because that's uh, we give time to to heal. It's not a real extensive surgery or anything like that. But what it is is we're looking at possibly getting another energy revenue rather than having to rely on coal and oil and things of that nature. We already have the wind farms out there. We have the solar panels. Instead of you know your average house where we're putting solar panels on houses now, we can also put solar panels inside of the implants and not only could we make the environment uh, a little bit cleaner we can make women feel just fantastic about themselves in areas where eh, they might not have felt that great before with insecurities and then we also have the new energy revenue okay and so what we would do is we would have you come in and we have the professional team you'll be in a sterilized area uh, that the doctors would come in and we would have the, the implants themselves. They would do uh, the the actual augmentation and put them inside. And what we would do is after the two-week healing period, we would then have an activation. You would come in and there's no scanning or anything. It's kind of like when you walk through um, a metal detector, let's say. It's along the same okay. line of things. You walk through and all it does is it activates the solar panels inside and it, it actually programs the solar panels with your particular serial number. Uh, and, and then what we do, would have you do is just go ahead on your normal day-to-day -day basis. You're, you know, don't alter anything that you do. And then we would just have you come back in uh, after about a month. And we would drain the energy that the implants had uh, had gathered during that time. Okay. And so that that's kind of the process. The the draining of the energy takes about 15 minutes. Okay. We we have a, a special cord uh in a machine that we would we would hook up. Uh it, it looks similar to a plug for like an Android phone or for uh like an iPhone if you were going to charge your phone, you know what I'm talking about there? Okay. Yeah. And we would we so would plug we would plug it into your into your nipple and drain the energy. Okay. And did you did you have questions? I heard you start with a question there. Um. So are these are the actual procedure that comes with it? Like, how how would you how does how is the procedure done with the augmentation? It goes through the, the normal augmentations uh, 
you know, if you were going to have a, a, a breast implant or a breast enlargement, it's all done the same. The only thing that's different is inside of the actual implant, the silicone inside, it's a different type of silicone. And we okay. have the, the actual nanites are implanted inside of the silicone. So it's the normal okay. the normal implant procedure. The only thing that is different is we're using a, a, the silicone uh, itself. It, all it is is we're implanting the solar uh, panels inside, so we can gather energy that way. Okay. All right. And so there's no downtime. No, there's no downtime. You could go back uh, right back to work. Uh, the, the areas where the incisions are made may be a tad bit. Uh, sore for anywhere for three to five days. Uh, we say, you know, if, if something like that occurs, just, you know, you take some aspirin, uh, and then, of course, ice when you can, uh, when you're, of course, okay. you know, in your own private area or, or, or alone. Um, and that, and that's what we'd have you do. And we want to see uh, how much energy during that first month of activity that we can actually uh, harvest and we want to see if it's okay. going to become a uh, a viable source of renewable energy. Okay. And is there any side effects to this? Or is that what would be kind of like the trial to see well, if there, it, there is, is any it's, side it's, it's not a trial. The side effects would be, it's, it's more or less the time involved coming back in. Uh, at first, we would start out at a month just to see how much was gathered and to see how far the battery has been charged and how much energy okay. has been stored. And we would take that first draw and then determine how much longer we could uh, let you go. So, you know, instead of coming in at one month, we could have you come in maybe a month and a half, two months, uh, because the, the little storage battery that we implant inside, we don't want that battery to explode. Okay. It's a lithium ion battery that we implant uh, just behind the nipple. And we let you pick which nipple because they'll all be interstrung together. Um, is is there one that you favor more than the other one that's better for you? Um, no. Okay. Yeah, really. cause all, we, all, we, all we do is we, we put a, a small lithium ion battery back there. And all the all the energy from the solar panels will go to that lithium ion battery, and we just make a small small incision in the nipple itself. You you won't even be able to recognize that it's there. Nobody else will either. And we just plug the the phone charger type cord in there, and we withdraw the the energy over about a fifteen minute period. Okay, and that's I have to do that every two months as long as I have them. Uh, yeah, as long as you have them now. We give you everything for free, but oh, uh, to recoup our cost, you have to be into the program for uh, approximately a year and a half, and then you're 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 okay. released from the program. But you can stay on on a uh, voluntary basis because uh, we are working on some other type of um, implants. Because we do have people that do do. Um, I said do do. I'm sorry. We they have uh, <laughs> they have. Uh, but buttocks implants that we're working on with the solar and also calf implants, but the calf implants are going to be a kinetic basis. And it's going to be geared towards bikers, people who do uh, triathlons okay. and things of that nature. Okay. If, if in any event that I don't want to keep them in there for like a year and a half, mm -hmm. could I get them removed without any penalties? Yes. Or... Uh, the only thing that we ask okay. is if you do have them removed, uh, to please return them to us. Uh, okay. Af afterwards, I don't know if you would want to go back down to your original cup size, but if you return them to us, uh, then we could potentially implant them uh, into into another person. Because we did test these out originally with cows, and they worked really, really well. And so that's when we moved on to the, the trial with the humans, and that went extremely well. So that's why we're now at the, the phase of implementing um, imp okay. implementing our plan. And where are you located? Where would I have to go every two months? Uh, we have an office right down by the Staples Center. Oh, okay. 
and we would just have you in for, okay. for, for 15 minutes. And because originally what we, we were going to do is instead of having the, uh, the nipple port, it, what we were going to do is we were going to do uh, cables that are similar to if you were going to jump a car, but a lot of people complained about discomfort and pain uh, because you can't adjust the spring levels on those. And so they, they pinch rather hard. So that's when we went, oh, went, went, we went with the nipple port idea where we can just plug in. Um, we do have, though, in the pipeline, uh, you know how you can charge your phone wirelessly? You could put it on a dock. Right. Yeah, we're working on that also. So instead of having to plug into the nipple port, we would just have you sit over and basically the breast would rest on a uh, on a dock itself and it would charge through the dock. The breast doesn't oh, okay. have to it doesn't have to come out of the shirt. It just basically you would take the dock and you would just push them up under your your breast and just let them sit there. We have a nice seating area. You can watch television and stuff like that. It's it's nothing too intrusive. Okay. So that's that's kind of where we're at. That's our that's our spiel. And so I guess my question to you is, is are you still interested? Um, yes, that's, sure. Okay, great. What I'll go ahead and do, uh, the email that you, uh, use to respond to the ad, is that a good contact point? Yes. Okay, what we'll do is I will have, uh, my assistant get a hold of you. Let's see, let's see, what's tomorrow? Uh, Sunday, Monday's really busy. Tuesday is probably going to be when the email is sent out. Mondays are really, really busy. There'll be nobody in the office on Sunday. And so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll send out an email and we'll coordinate a date and time that will suit you best. And we'll we'll have you in and uh, we'll get you implanted. Okay. And again, let me let me note let me notate down here. Did you didn't did you or did you not have a uh, preference on which side we put the nipple port? Um. It, it doesn't General, matter are you, either are you, one. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. We'll probably put the nipple port on the left side then because uh, people are, you okay. know, generally they're doing work while they're going to be drained of the uh, stored power. So they like to be able to still write and type and have, you know, text on their phone. And if you're plugged in and stuff, you might have some a wire right there that's interfering. Oh, okay. All right. Let me go ahead and mark this down right here for a left nipple port and left nipple port. And let me ask real quick. Um, I, cause we have to get some extra, uh, equ- not extra equipment, extra hardware in there. Are we dealing with anything that's too large or larger than normal as far as uh, nipple or areola area? Um, not to my knowledge. Okay, no. and, and, and the nipple itself in circumference, anything more than a dime? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Let's see. Normal insertion, nipple port, left side. And do you have a preference for the LED color for the charging indicator? Uh, no. No preference. Okay. Let me mark this. No preference. Because they do like red, blue, green. Um, for the charging, mark this down. Now I will tell you, uh, at night that sometimes that the indicators for the charging will blink to uh, let us know that we are synced up with you. So you would not want to be alarmed by that at all. Uh, we had a few people that it was blinking under their shirt and they saw a light and they got, they got freaked out a little bit. Okay. <laughs> It was yeah. It was it was blinking green, and they they didn't know what what was going on. They came running into the office the next day. They were they they thought it was some side effect. They thought the lithium ion battery was gonna explode because we had that one lady oh. one lady's breast exploded, and it was a whole thing. Um, but do you want to? Let me ask you this: Do you want a GPS built in as well? Um, it'll actually sync up with your mm-hmm. phone, whether it's an iPhone or a. Uh, Android system. It's like a Bluetooth. Um, <laughs> no, that's okay. No, okay. 
normally they charge a little extra for that, but I was just going to go ahead and waive it. All right, let's see here. We got that down. That's for Jennifer. All right, Jennifer, we're going to send this out, and uh, we'll get a hold of you on Tuesday and get this arranged. Okay, sounds All right, good. Great. Thank you. It was great talking to you. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.